Are you poisonous? Are you toxic? Are you destroying yourself? Are you practicing self-annihilation? Often, you blame mothers. You think it's them. That they're the toxic ones. That they're the ones that are poisoned. But really, it's you. You need to self-reflect. You need to look in the mirror and honestly look at yourself. And reflect on who you truly are. Who you truly are on the inside. Because that reflects on the outside. Your outer reflection is a reflection of what's inside of you. Are you toxic on the inside? Are you poisonous within? What is your current state of being? What is your current state of mind? What type of people are you attracting? Are you attracting toxic people? You have to ask yourself, why? Why are you attracted to toxic people? Is it the toxicity in you that's attracted to the toxicity in them? Is it because that's where you're comfortable at, you're comfortable in the sewer? Does it take too much effort to get cleaned up? To detox? Is that a comfort zone? Is, do these toxic people, do they reinforce your insanity? Are they co-signing your insanity? Are they just as mentally ill as you are? Do they have any guidance? Are they assisting you on ascension? Or with being the best you that you can be? Are they helping or assisting you to become more aware, more alert to the world around you? Are they heightening your senses, heightening your abilities? to maneuver in the world around you or are they a hindrance ask yourself that but then also ask that question to yourself about yourself are you doing all of those things are you all of those things are you the hindrance are you poisonous to yourself are you leading you in the wrong direction are you keeping you blind Are you, malnour are you malnourishing to the spirit? What are you doing? Because you're at the root of it. The cause and effect, you are the root. When you feel the effects of what you cause, how do you feel about it? Do you accept accountability or do you blame others? Because of your poor effort, your lack of effort, or your failure, your inability to complete certain tasks or to move forward or to keep moving in the direction that you should move in, your ability to complete one level and move on to the next level. See, but the thing is, you shouldn't beat yourself up over failure. It's expected. As they say, practice makes perfect. Then practice, you will fail. There are attempts that may that won't be successful, but that's all part of practicing to make perfect. Don't expect for it to be perfect immediately. See the problem with people, a lot of people they expect immediate results. They want things to happen instantly, instant gratification, instant results, instant answers, instant solutions doesn't work like that you have to put in work it takes time dedication patience you have to practice to perfect your craft but you also have to practice self-discipline self-mastery meaning cleaning yourself up keeping yourself pure keeping your temple pure watching what you put in your temple Watching the surroundings that you place yourself in. The people you allow yourself to be around. The type of energy that they're radiating.
Is it positive? Is it negative? Is it high vibrational? Is it low vibrational energy? What type of energy are you attracting? What type of energy are you gravitating towards? Are these people poison? Are you poison? Because if you're gravitating towards poison, then you really have to look in the mirror. You have to take a look inside yourself. Find the poison inside yourself. And remove the poison. Don't let it sit there. Don't let it fester. Because eventually it'll spread through your whole system and poison the whole system. If you detect it early, you can cut the poison out. Drain the poison from the system. That applies to yourself if you're poisonous to yourself. That also applies to others if they're poisonous to you. But you have to remember, you have to do right by you. Don't make excuses. Don't hinder yourself. Help yourself, assist yourself, rescue yourself, save yourself, uplift yourself. Do what you need to do for you. Do your work. Remove all the poison, all the toxins, all of the death styles. Stop participating in these things. You have to question the type of lifestyle you're living, if you're living a lifestyle at all. Is it a lifestyle or is it a death style? Is this bringing me life? Is this bringing me death? What am I consuming? Am I consuming life? Am I consuming death? What type of energy am I attracting? Is it pure? Is it clean? Is it toxic? Is it poisonous? But all of these are questions you have to ask yourself. You have to look inside of yourself and ask yourself. And you'll find the answer. But you may not like the answer that you find. But that's all about of facing your fears and facing your monsters. See, those are the monsters, the dragons that you have to slay. Facing those fears, those doubts, those aspects of yourself that you're not proud of. Those are the monsters that you have to slay. But don't be afraid. Fear is not your friend. Bravery is. A coward dies billions of deaths. The brave only die once. <laughs>